Hi guys, welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. I hope everyone is doing good. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. Just click the subscribe button below the video on the right. And if you want notifications for when I upload a tutorial, just click the bell and YouTube will notify you when I upload a DIY. Today we're going to be using the Dollar Tree Toy Sand Rake and the Dollar Tree Plastic Toy Shovel. I am using Rust-Oleum spray paint to paint my little rake and shovel. I picked it up at Walmart. I believe the color is hammered and I think it was around $5 for one can and I really like the way the color it turns out. It really looks realistic and it only took one coat. This is my second DIY using the little toy sand shovel from Dollar Tree. On the first one I made, I used the Waverly chalk paint in the color steel, and it was just hard to get an even coat with the chalk paint, so I really like the way the spray paint works out best. After the spray paint had time to dry, I brought them both inside, and so this is how they look with just one coat, and I was happy with the results. The Rust-Oleum spray paint really works good. You're also going to need four of the decorative nautical ropes, the 9.5 feet nautical rope from Dollar Tree. So you'll want to pick up four of those, and you're going to need your hot glue gun and glue sticks, and you might want to put on some hot glue finger guards. I just added a little hot glue to the top of the shovel, put the rope in it, let it dry for a little bit, and then I just started wrapping the handle. So just make sure you get it nice and tight. Um, I did add a little bit of hot glue every so often, but I don't really think that's necessary. So it will take two ropes. Now you'll make it fine with just four ropes, but you will need to pick up four and you'll have a little bit left over. So that's how far one rope will go. Now I'm just attaching my second rope to the little shovel handle and just wrapping it nice and tight. If you're wanting to wrap the um, top of the rake and the shovel where your hand actually goes with nautical rope, you might want to buy five nautical ropes instead of four. This is a super easy DIY. It's really looks expensive in the end, but really you can do the whole thing using Dollar Tree items. If you have not seen my first tutorial where I used just the single Dollar Tree sand shovel, I will link that tutorial below for you in the description box so you can just click on that link if you'd like to watch it. I was so excited because that was the first DIY that Dollar Tree ever featured on their Instagram page that I had made. So you'll have to check out that video because I think it turned out really cute and I was really happy that Dollar Tree thought it was cute too and featured it on their Instagram page. So here I'm just finishing up, wrapping the little rake handle. So here's how they both look when they're completely wrapped. So this took almost four ropes from Dollar Tree, the 9.5 feet, and now I'm adding some florals. Now my daughter, she thought it was a little early to be working on fall DIYs, but you can use spring flowers, summer flowers, fall flowers, Christmas flowers, whatever you would like. So I'm just taking my picks and cutting them into smaller pieces because I'm going to make a little swag. You can purchase your flowers wherever you would like. Dollar Tree has some beautiful flowers out right now. These were some I had left over from last year that I bought at the end of the season on clearance at Hobby Lobby. Now we're making a swag, so take one in place on the left, one on the right, overlapping the stems. Same steps, place one on the left, then one on the right, overlapping the stems. And then when you get the swag the size you want, you're going to want to take a zip tie and wrap it nice and tight around the center of your little swag. Now this swag ended up being a little bit too long, so I did have to trim some of the pieces a little bit shorter to get it to have the look that I wanted. You do not really need very many flowers for this swag because if you put too much, you're not gonna be able to see your little shovel and your rake. So it just depends on what you want the focus to be on. So if you want it to, you know, put more emphasis on your flowers, then go big, or if you want more emphasis on your rake and shovel, you know, go smaller with your swag. So it's whatever, however you prefer, whatever your taste is. I have a tendency to like to make my swags big because I always like to add a big bow to all of my wreaths. So I did make mine a little bit fuller than maybe I should have, but it's okay. I really like the way it turned out in the end. So I just zip tied it nice and tight together. Then I went back and fluffed my flowers. It's very important to go back Fluff your flowers, shape your little swag, don't skip that step. I wanted my shovel and my rake to cross over each other, so I went ahead, zip tied them together, but it moved just a little bit, so I added some hot glue, and then to make sure it stayed in place like I wanted, I took some twine and I tied it together 
nice and tight, then added more hot glue. Okay, so now I'm ready to attach my little swag. I took some twine from Dollar Tree and I just tied my little swag onto my little shovel and rake. Just make sure you get the rope nice and tight and it should be fine. You can always add a little hot glue if it makes you feel better. Now it's time to add a big beautiful bow. I picked up this ribbon at a local boutique, so I'm not sure if um, Craft Outlet has it online or not, but I would go there and check first. But I thought it was so pretty, and I thought it would look perfect for fall. It's 2.5 inch width ribbon with wire. Let out a tail, make a loop, keep it pinched tightly in your left hand, go to the other side, make another loop about the same size as your first loop. Now good quality ribbon makes the prettiest bows and the easiest bows. It's a lot easier to work with than cheaper ribbon. So I'm back on my first side. Try to make your loop the same size as your first loop. Check to make sure. Keep it pinched tightly in your left hand. Go back to the other side. Make another loop about the same size. Always check the size of your loops because that makes a pretty bow when your loops are about the same size. Let out a tail. Then you'll want to take some floral wire Wrap it nice and tight around the center of your bow. And I'm just using 20 gauge floral wire. And then you'll want to go back and either do a knife cut or dovetail the ends of your bow. Now you're ready to fluff the loops of your bow. Now just remember, if you're gonna splurge on something, I would recommend splurging on pretty ribbon. I have lots of bow tutorials on my channel and I usually get lots of comments, um, positive comments about my bows. And guys, the secret is good quality ribbon and also being patient too. And practice makes perfect. So guys, I've had 20 years of practice too. So don't compare your bows to mine. And next I'm just taking the bow and I'm just using the wires that are on the bow, wrapping it around the little shovel and rake, going to the back, twisting the wires and folding them down. Then make sure you fluff your flowers, fluff the loops of your bow. To hang this wreath up, I just use a piece of twine and thread it through the top of the rake and the shovel and hung it on my door. Now this will be kept inside, but I went outside so that you could see how it looks in better lighting. It is cloudy outside. It just came a shower of rain, so I'm sorry that it's not really bright outside for you to see it better. But you'll have to let me know what you think of this DIY and if you plan on making one. If you cannot find the sand shovel at Dollar Tree, Walmart does sell them, but I think they're a little more expensive, around $3 for the little shovels, plastic shovels at Walmart. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate everyone so much. Y'all are the sweetest. I enjoy reading y'all's comments so much. I try to respond to each and every one of you, but if for some reason I accidentally miss your comment, I'm sorry. I don't always get notifications, but I appreciate y'all so much, and I hope you have a wonderful week. And don't forget to check out my first DIY with a little sand shovel. I will link that tutorial below for you in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching.